After the dot-com bubble burst, interest rates were lowered all the way to 1% in the United States and then gradually went up. However, after the Great Recession, the market wanted more and as such, they had to be dropped to zero in the US and even went slightly negative in the European Union and Japan. To combat the effects of the 2020 crisis, many observers believe that, once again, the market wants even more dramatic rate cuts. For example, rates going negative in the US and even deeper in the negative territory in the EU and Japan. Is this possible? Yes, but also increasingly dangerous. At the end of the day, a central bank can even lower interest rates to negative 99% if it so chooses, but that might not be the best idea in the world because pretty much everyone would be rushing to get their hands on cash in such a scenario and the financial system would collapse. In contrast, with interest rates at zero or even slightly negative, we have seen that people are not panicking. This tends to be a dangerous game to play because there is always the risk that eventually the market will say enough is enough. As explained through one of this channel's earliest videos, we have a so-called fractional reserve banking system and therefore, banks definitely do not have enough physical currency to give all depositors their money in cash form, not even close. In plastic terms, think of a house of cards and with each interest rate cut episode, we are adding more cards to it and increasing the risk that it'll collapse. Do enough individuals accept the current interest rate environment to keep the system stable? Yes. Would enough accept, let's say, negative 1%? Maybe. Negative 2%? Perhaps. But as can be observed, we're getting closer to gambling than central banking, which might be, well, unwise. 